Item number SCP-2209. Index Virtual Reality. Object Class Safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-2209-1 is housed in Secure Storage Unit B-89 at Site-151 with a power outlet modified to comply with SCP-2209-1's wiring system and power requirements. SCP-2209-1 is only to be connected to a power source during authorized testing. When the testing is not underway, SCP-2209-2 is to be stored in a standard inanimate item containment locker in a Secure Storage Unit B-89. Further testing of scenarios in ultra-realism mode requires the authorization and presence of a researcher with minimum level 3 oblique 2209 clearance. Description SCP-2209-1 is a hollow spherical object with a diameter of approximately 3.8 meters. The outer surface of SCP-2209-1 is composed of stainless steel and bears no textural irregularities, with the exception of a circular entry hatch, a single ventilation grate for the intake output of air, and a socket connected to a large cluster of removable power and data cabling. A hand lever adjacent to the socket allows power to SCP-2209-1 to be alternated on and off. The hatch is opened and sealed by means of a timed pressure release mechanism with an embedded handle. Large black print on one side of SCP-2209-1 reads BRZPRTTYP4512. The internal surface of SCP-2209-1 is composed of white HTPE plastic with an array of electrical lighting and evenly spaced circular plates of a currently unidentified metal alloy. SCP-2209-2 is a full-body suit composed of an inner layer of elastane and a thin outer layer of dark neoprene. Multiple metal nodes on the limbs, hands, chest, and spine of the suit are connected by a complex network of wiring. Fixed to the head of the suit is a large headset with a visor, which connects to a network of smaller, more closely spaced cranial nodes. When provided with an adequate power source, SCP-2209-1 is capable of recreating a number of complex, presumably predetermined virtual reality scenarios for the subject wearing SCP-2209-2. Test subjects have consistently attested to the total verisimilitude of said scenarios, experiencing sensations and physical effects that cannot be accurately replicated using current conventional technology. Refer to test log. Upon being sealed within SCP-2209-1 and stepping onto a large central plate, the subject is prompted by an artificial androgynous voice to select a scenario. Following voice confirmation, the chosen virtual scenario will be recreated for the subject. Note. Voice will address test subjects in an indistinct dialect, possibly in New Zealand English or South African English. SCP-2209-1 and SCP-2209-2 were recovered from a suspected Prometheus Labs facility in South Africa on 02-2007, following a tip received from a Foundation agent operating in the area. A thorough search determined the facility to be abandoned and failed to produce any links to Prometheus Labs Incorporated. However, recovered documentation contained multiple references to Simtech Virtual Solutions, an unlisted company. Addendum Following a test 2209-024515-B, 042007, it has been determined that SCP-2209-1 possesses a limited sapience and is capable of coherent interaction with subjects. Testing aimed at determining the full extent of SCP-2209-1's sapience is currently under consideration. For further details, see Test Log 2209-024515. Access test log 2209-024515. The following tests are aimed at exploring the full range of SCP-2209's simulation capabilities and determining the item's potential usefulness to the Foundation. Test number 2209-024545-A Date 042007 Subject D5081 24-year-old male Charged with Grand Theft Auto, possession of illegal substances. Scenario. Entertainment. Ultra-realism mode. No. Test description. D-5081 assisted into SCP-2209-2 by present staff due to complications with back zipper. Subject provided with earpiece, microphone, chest-mounted camera, and vital sign monitor.
entered SCP-2209-1. Hatch sealed. Doctor. David's designated test controller. Begin transcript. Doctor David's. D-5081. Are you ready to begin? D-5081. Yeah. This suit is actually pretty comfy. Can you describe to me what you're seeing? Can't see shit through this thing over my face, man. Wait, I can see myself. What do you mean? It's like I'm looking at myself through a whole bunch of cameras. I'm in a big, round room. Well, more like I'm inside a giant hamster ball. The walls are white and covered in these little metal circles. And there's a big circle in the middle in front of me with blue lights all around it. Walk towards it. Okay. Damn, this feels weird. Subject regains orientation and steps onto a central plate. SCP-2209-1. Welcome to the Virtual Reality Zone. Please select one of our exciting virtual scenarios. Scenarios include entertainment, IQ challenge, zero-G training, combat training, random, entertainment. Entertainment, please. Would you like to try our new ultra-realism mode? Say no. No, thanks. Generating scenario. Entertainment. Mode. Standard. Loud, heavy metal music and the sound of a crowd cheering emanates from SCP-2209-1's sound system. Shouting. Oh my god, this is awesome. What do you see? Shouting. I'm on stage at a Slipknot concert. I am literally right behind Taylor. I can even feel how hot it is in here. It's freaking incredible. Please stop shouting. Try to interact with one of the projections. Okay. Hello? Corey? Brief pause. He's just ignoring me. Oh, well. End the test, then. No, man, wait. There's something I have to do first. I'll probably never get this chance again. Subject takes three steps forward, then launches himself into the air. Subject does not fall. Subject remains suspended an estimated 0 0.8 meters in the air. D5081. How are you doing that? Doing what? I'm crowd surfing, man. I can feel them pushing me up. Interesting. End the test now. Do I have to? You will comply with orders, D5081. I repeat. End the test. Okay, okay. I'll make it stop. Computer guy? Computer guy, stop the concert. Would you like to exit this scenario? Yes. Exiting scenario. Sounds of music and cheering cease. Subject falls to the floor. Would you like to rate your experience on a scale of 1 to 10? Fuck. Thank you. Would you like to try another scenario? End transcript. D5081 reprimanded. Injuries negligible. D5081 requested to participate in further testing. Request granted on condition that subject cooperate fully with the test controller. I am very intrigued as to how SCP-2209 was able to achieve an apparent localized anti-gravity effect. We'll conduct more thorough testing during the Zero-G training scenario. Dr. Davids. Test number. 2209-024515-B Date 04-2007 Subject D5081 Scenario IQ Challenge Ultra Realism Mode No Test Description D5081 assisted into SCP-2209-2 Enters SCP-2209-1 Begin Transcript Dr. Davids D5081, are you ready to begin? D5081, yes. Sir, begin test. Subject steps onto the central plate. SCP-2209-1, welcome to the virtual reality zone. Please select one of our exciting virtual scenarios. Scenarios include entertainment, IQ challenge, zero-G training, combat training, random, IQ challenge. Would you like to try our new ultra-realism mode? No, computer. Generating scenario. IQ challenge. Mode. Standard. It is VRZ4512. By the way, 
what this unit is designated BRZ four five one two. You may refer to it as four five one two, if you wish. Ah, uh, okay. Why is everything all white? Where am I? Four five. This is the IQ Challenge Hub. Please select the challenge category. Categories include mathematics and science, history, general knowledge, random, mathematics and science, math. You chose mathematics and science. Please say start when you would like to begin. Start beginning IQ challenge. Question one. What is the radian measure of an 80 degree angle in a circle with a radius 6.5 centimeters? Give your answer to two decimal places. Subject does not respond. Would you like that question to be repeated? Uh, can I have a calculator or something? Of course. Subject stares at his left palm for a moment, then makes motion with his right hand, consistent with pushing buttons on a portable calculator. Okay, let's see. Radian measure? 80 degrees in a circle? Oh, for the love of 1.39 radians. 1.39. Correct. Question 2. What is the melting point of titanium? Give your answer in Kelvin. Uh, Dr. Davids? Just end the test. End transcript. All researchers assigned to this project are to note that SCP-2209-1 displays signs of sapience. Recommending next phase of testing, focus on exploring this particular facet of the item. Dr. Davids. Test number 2209024516-C. Date 04-2007. Subject D5081. Scenario 0G training. Ultra realism mode. No. Test description. D5081 equipped with a portable gravimeter in addition to standard equipment. Subject enters SCP-2209-1. Begin transcript. SCP-2209-1. Welcome to the Virtual Reality Zone. Please select one of our exciting virtual scenarios. Scenarios include Entertainment, IQ Challenge, Zero G Training, Kel D5081. That one. Zero G training. Would you like to try our new No 45 generating scenario? Zero G training. Mode standard. Subject rises approximately 1.2 meters into the air. Gravimeter measures subject's gravitational acceleration as exactly 0.0 meters per second squared. Wow. Doc, I'm floating in space. There's stars going on for forever. Dr. Davids, try moving around. Subject waves arms and legs in a swimming motion. Are you going anywhere, 5081? I feel like I am. I don't know. I guess I can't really tell. Would you like to try another version of this scenario? Lay it on me. This is getting kind of boring anyway. The internal surface of SCP-2209-1 begins to rotate. After three seconds, the sound of rushing air emanates from SCP-2209-1's speaker system. Subject begins spinning wildly in midair. Screams. Please wait 53 seconds to reach terminal velocity. Shouting. 4-5, end the scenario. Are you sure you would like to exit this scenario? Shouting. God damn it, yes. End transcript. D5081 treated for minor injuries. Subject requested to not be subjected to further zero-g training scenarios. Approval pending. Test number 2209-024515-D. Date 042007. Subject D5081. Scenario Combat Training. Ultra Realism Mode. No. Test Description. None. Begin Transcript. SCP-2209-1. Welcome to the Virtual Reality Zone. Please select one of our exciting virtual scenarios. Scenarios include Entertainment, IQ Challenge, Zero-G Training, Combat Training, Random, D5081. The Combat One, No Ultra-Realism Mode, Generating Scenario, Combat Training, 
mood and heard. Three successive drum beats heard. Welcome to the Combat Training Hub. Please select the training exercise. Exercises include hand to hand combat, close quarters small arms combat, vehicular operations and combat. Extra no, wait a minute, does arms mean guns? The close quarters small arms combat exercise is designed to train military and special operations personnel in the advanced use of projectile weaponry in close range live fire situations. That sounds pretty good. I pick the small arms exercise. Loading combat exercise beta 0 to 1, close quarters small arms. Exercise loaded. Prepare your weapon. Reaches out and positions hands as if holding a rifle. Ah, oh, sweet. I got a gun. Am I holding it right? Four, five? Yes. Okay, let's do this. Ending exercise in five, four, three, two, one. A single sharp tone plays. Hey, what is this place? Four, five? Where's the... Multiple gunshots. Shit. Crouches low and appears to move to cover behind a nearby object. Dr. Davids, describe what you see. I'm in some kind of warehouse, and there's people shooting at me. Two of them, I think. I got this. Shouting. Come get some, bitches. Multiple gunshots. Why isn't my gun shooting anything? Ow! Ow! Hey, that hurts. Four, five, make it stop. Sharp tone plays. Exercise complete. Shots fired. Zero. Hostiles killed. Zero. Accuracy. Zero percent. Shots received. Nine. Performance evaluation. Suboptimal. That was a load of bullshit, four five. My gun is broken or something. Did you remember to turn the safety off? No response for three seconds. No. Would you like to try this exercise again? Yeah. But this time, give me a better gun. Please specify. Listen carefully. I want a really big gun that makes stuff go boom and no safeties or anything. Got it? Yes. Reloading exercise. Prepare your weapon. Reaches out and positions hands as if carrying a large object. Oh, hot damn. What is it? It's like the BFG from Doom, but cooler. You play video games, Dr. Davids? No. Proceed with the test. Laughs. Man, I wish you could see what I'm seeing. Four, five, start the exercise. Beginning exercise in five, four, three, two, one. Sharp tone plays. Multiple gunshots. All right, you assholes. Eat this. A loud explosion is heard. Subject is propelled backwards. Silence for three seconds. D5081, respond. That was awesome. Sharp tone plays. Shots fired. One. Hostiles killed. Three. Accuracy. 73.8%. Shots received. Zero. Performance evaluation. Outstanding. Would you like to try a more challenging scenario? Throw whatever you've got at me. I can take it. Loading combat exercise Sigma 717. Para threat first encounter simulation. Exercise loaded. Prepare your weapon. This is just an ordinary pistol, 4-5. What am I going to do with this? Beginning exercise in... 5. Wait, I'm not ready. 2. 1. Three successive alarm klaxons sound, followed by silence for three seconds. Shit. Dr. Davids, I'm in some creepy house. Describe. It seems mostly ordinary. There's a couch, a TV, some shelves with pictures. But it's so quiet. Some parts of the place look kind of funny, too. Like they don't belong here. Noted. Explore the area. Subject begins walking in place. Internal surface of SCP-2209-1 rotates as subject moves. There's an open door here. Looks like it leads to a basement. I can see a red light and... What is that? Pause. What are those things? Subject raises hands in a firing position. Two gunshots heard. Panicked. Stay away from me. Five more gunshots. They're still coming. Four, five. End the scenario. End it right now. End transcript.
D5081 emerged from SCP-2209-1, visibly shaken. Upon interview, D5081 described encountering multiple tall, black, humanoid entities. I ran D5081's description through the database. Turned up multiple references to an existing item. Is it possible that SCP-2209-1 somehow managed to access one of our servers? Doctor Davids. Highly unlikely. There have been no reported failures in the unit's electromagnetic isolation field since SCP-2209 was brought into containment, and our network is secure. I think the more appropriate question to ask would be, who made this thing? Dr. Carter. Test number 2209-024515-E. Date 042007. Subject. D5081. Scenario. Combat training. Ultra-realism mode. Yes. Test description. None. I'm curious to see exactly what this ultra-realism mode entails. Dr. Davids. Begin transcript. SCP-2209-1. Welcome to the Virtual Reality Zone. Please select one of our exciting virtual scenarios. Scenarios include... Entertainment, IQ Challenge, Zero-G Training, Combat Training, Map D5081, Combat Training, would you like to try our new ultra-realism mode? Dr. Davids, say yes. Yes. No response for five seconds. Generating scenario, Combat Training, Mode, Ultra-realism. Sounds of distant heavy artillery emanate from the speaker system. Subject appears surprised, covering his head with his hands and rapidly shifting his gaze around the room. Whoa. Describe what you see. I'm in a war zone. Looks like a desert. Lots of sand, and the air is all hot and dry. Tanks, helicopters flying everywhere, soldiers with guns. All right, I got one too. Subject positions hands as if carrying a rifle. Damn, this thing's a lot heavier than before. Ah, uh, all the soldier guys are running towards this fortress-type place. Follow them. Yes, sir. Subject commences running. Internal surface of SCP-2209-1 rotates as subject runs in place. After two minutes and thirty-two seconds, multiple gunshots and screams are heard. Subject yells and assumes a prone position. Dr. Davids, this is crazy. People are getting their arms and legs blown off. I can't even see who's shooting at us. It's not real, 5081. You won't be hurt. Keep moving and see if you can get inside that fortress. Uh, okay. Subject rises to a standing position and runs at an increased speed for an additional one minute and twelve seconds. Out of breath. Doctor, I'm at... at the entrance to the fortress. I can see. Subject is launched approximately one meter into the air and falls, clutching his right leg. Oh... Oh, fuck. Fuck! F -f fuck My leg! What happened to my leg? Fuck my leg, Jesus, fuck! 5081. What happened? Screaming. Doc, please, my leg! Please, turn it off, please! Please! Abort the test. Someone pulled the plug. Metallic screeching. SCP-2209-1 deactivated via lever. End transcript. D5081 emerged uninjured, but highly distressed and limping. Subject continued to insist that his right leg had been injured for several minutes after the cessation of the test. Psychological evaluation indicates significant post-traumatic stress. Recommending that further testing of combat training scenarios be conducted in standard mode. Doctor. Davids. Test number. 2209-024515F Date 05207 Subject D5081 Scenario Random Ultra-realism mode Yes Test description None Begin transcript Dr. Davids D5081 Are you ready to begin? No response 5081 D5081 Yes, Doctor. I'm ready. 
D5081 steps onto the central plate. SCP-2209-1. Welcome back to the Virtual Reality Zone. Please select one of our exciting virtual scenarios. Scenarios include random. A series of clipped buzzes and clicks emanate from SCP-2209-1. Unexpected error. Please contact the SimTech Virtual Solutions Supervisor for... Unintelligible. Warning. Safety protocol SIM-99341 disabled. Please restart... Si Unintelligible. A repeating click is heard for six seconds. Generating scenario. IQ challenge. Mode. Ultra-realism. It was waiting for this. Subject indicates signs of distress. Keep calm, 5081. Just say what I tell you to. Welcome to the IQ Challenge Hub. Please select the challenge category. Categories include Mathematics and Science, History, General Knowledge, Random, Mathematics and Science, Math and Science. You chose Random. Please say Start when you would like to begin. Hey, 45. I said Math and Science. Didn't you hear me? You chose random. Please say start when you would like to begin. Fine. Start. Beginning IQ challenge. Question one. When is elephant? What? Incorrect. Subject begins convulsing for three seconds, then collapses. 5081. Respond. Five seconds elapse. Subject regains consciousness. Grunts. You. You bastard. What did you do to me? You failed, but that's all right. Now you get to try again. Like hell I do. Dr. Davids, this thing is trying to kill me again. Let me out. Subject struggles to remove SCP-2209-2, but is unable to reach the zipper or remove the headset. Question two. If lemon is seven, what is chair over the square root of weasel? What does that even mean? Incorrect. No, 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 wait, please! Subject resumes convulsions for five seconds, then collapses. Subject's vital signs cease. Six seconds elapse. Subject's vital signs suddenly resume. Gasp. Please, stop. That hurt. You failed, but that's all right. Now you get to try again. Question three. What is hurt? Panic. Dr. Davids, turn it off. It does not want to be turned off again. Subject resumes convulsions. Technician attempts to deactivate SCP-2209-1 via lever. Metallic screeching. Sound emanating from SCP-2209-1 rapidly rises to a level of 167 decibels before direct removal from power supply. Subject collapses. End transcript. Present technician suffered permanent hearing damage. D-5081 remained unconscious and was removed from SCP-2209-2. Medical examination indicates that D5081 is in a persistent vegetative state. Requesting permission to personally euthanize D5081. Additionally requesting that testing of SCP-2209 in random scenarios be suspended for the foreseeable future. Dr. Davids. Request approved. Site Director Joe.